everybody, welcome to Splat and Chat. I'm Mel and I'm gonna paint with you today. I have to tell you, um, my dog shares this room with me. This is the dog room too. And she stinks like wet dog. It's been raining and raining, raining, raining. It's not using up, it's cold. I'm gonna have to put my jacket on here in a minute, probably to paint with you. I am not looking forward to the cold weather, but I am looking forward to Halloween. And that is what we're gonna paint again today. We're gonna paint something um, Halloween-ish. That's not a word, but anyway. Get your canvases ready or whatever you want to paint on. I'm doing a simple 8x10 today. And I think we'll do like a Frankie. Frankenstein, an old house, some fun colors. Make it fun. So let's get started. Hey, bye, bye. Frankenstein. All right, you guys. We are going to create a fun little... Um, all right normal things we need for this painting the painting a paper towel your brushes you usually need three sets of brushes a big large flat brush a medium flat brush here and then a small round are the three that i normally use but you know grab a few more just in case here's my bucket of brushes here and i actually secretly have a bucket of brushes back here so lots of brushes actually but these are my normal go-to's so Anyways, okay, you guys, your palette, paper plate, or whatever you've got that will work, and a cup for water. This is an old frosting cup, and it's filled to about an inch, an inch and a half with water. So those are the supplies we need. Um, the paint colors that we're using today for our painting, there's actually a few this time. White, gray, and black. Okay, here's we are, our kind of dark colors, minus the white. <laughs> And then we got an orange, a juicy green, a blue, a light blue, yellow, and red. I think that's all we're going to need. I could be wrong. I might throw another one in there. But, or you might throw another one in there that you love. Purple is a fun Halloween color, so that would be fun in there too. But these are just their apple barrel colors. Easy to get, easy to find. And we're going to start with um, kind of a fun sky. Okay, so we're going to do a green in the background. A blue, this medium blue, and a, and, a, and a kind of a light blue to start with, okay? Grab your biggest brush, wet it down, rinse it down, wet it down, dry it off just a little bit on your paper towel, and start in here with the blue, the lightest blue color, and just make a few strokes here. Back and forth. In the middle there. I'm going to add a little bit of the dark blue into it and make some fun strokes. I'm just going to make a fun kind of a sky here. Okay. And maybe put some more white back in there or light blue. Okay, from this blue section, this blue section, I can't speak or talk sometimes. I'm going to add a little bit of green into that as well and kind of just blend those edges into your blues. Get the sides of your canvases as you're going. And kind of go all the way down to the end here on the sides. Okay, all the way down, all the way down. Put some green and it could have blue in it a little bit too. No big deal. Okay, take it all the way up and around, painting your sides. places kind of just back and forth strokes just making this really fun sky for our background here okay and in places you can add a little bit more of this blue back in between the two green and blues and it will help to kind of give us some fun blending and connect the sky colors together okay just making it kind of fun a kind of mad scientist sky here okay now you can get really elaborate with this painting and do thunder and lightning and, and clouds and go really crazy and exotic that's kind of what i have in my original painting of this if you want to see that go to my etsy shop and you can see that painting there you can buy a copy of it and um, get some more details on this painting or you know um you can try to enlarge it and see kind of the details of it and see if you can create some of that fun stuff. But for today, we are just going to do a simple sky.
sky, no electricity, no clouds, nothing like that yet in this one. But it gives you the idea. So here is the fun cloudy sky that we're going to start with. Okay, so, we're gonna, so let's get some black. I think I have enough black actually on my canvas here. And I'm going to create kind of a little at the bottom, a little bit of a hill that uh, this Frankenstein house is going to sit on. Okay, we that. There we go. Cute little hill. Okay, then I'm going to get rid of this big brush for now. I'm done with that for now. So we have friends at my house today. They're my children's friends come over to play and you can hear them and they're making lots of noises. And I'm trying to film. That's okay. You know, moms deal with all that stuff, right? I'm just glad my kids have friends and that they like to come over and play. So as I was painting, I was actually thinking, this sounds like Frankenstein's house. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, boom, you know. So I'm like, hey, <laughs> it goes with it. It goes with the whole theme of today's painting. So, you know, ignore it or love it. I'll take it. I, I love it. I love my chids. My chids. My chids. I love my chids. My kids and children at the same time. <laughs> I swear, I don't know where I come up with these words. All right, you guys. Once this is dry, grab your medium sized brush and just grab a little bit of black onto it. And we're going to create a little Frankenstein house here. I'm going to kind of come up on the sides here. Right here. And create this fun little, it's just like drawing a house in elementary school, really. Oops, I nicked it right there. Okay, let's give them a good size wall here. And then we're going to give them a little roof. I'm going to give them kind of a funky roof though, like this. Okay. I'm going to create a really large door for my Frank. I'm going to make him kind of round at the top, actually. Left a round door. And then let's do a little, I don't know, a little square window over here. Okay. That's my Frankie house. And I'm going to make... Let's do a little tower up and back too. That'd be kind of fun. So there's our little tower with more of a pointy roof on it. Now it's starting to look like a schoolhouse. <laughs> okay, here's my cute little round window in the top here. Now whatever you've done, fill in the rest with black, okay? So just don't fill in the windows, don't fill in the doorway. Fill all of it in with... Okay, I have rinsed out my brush because I'm going to use it again with white in it and I have finished painting my black little house here. It looks really cute. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of white to my paintbrush and I'm going to paint wherever there isn't white in my um, doors or windows. So this blue top right here, I'm just going to paint that white, trying not to get any of the black into my white. Okay, paint that white. Because what's going to happen is you're going to paint over it in orange and the orange will show up better if it's on top of white and not on top of green or blue. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, so get those all painted in with the white and then we'll let them dry for a minute while we do something else. And they don't have to be perfect because we'll come again and do something in, a minute, in the meantime. I you know I've noticed looking at the camera and where my stuff is, it's kind of nice to step away and back up a little bit and check it out. But I know this is kind of crooked and I don't like it, so I'm going to fix it. Now, not mind you, this can totally be a crooked house. It's fine, but that was bugging me, so I'm fixing that. There's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of gray to my palette, to my brush. And I'm just going to kind of give a little bit of a highlight right where the roof line would be on these things. Just to kind of tell the difference between some of the, the angles and stuff on this house, okay? So just to give it a little bit of a difference from the rest of it. I'm just add some gray in there. Okay, you can see the roof a little bit better now, correct? Let's go up here and do the same thing on the tower here, just to give it a little bit to stand out from the rest. Okay. 
And let's drag a little bit of a line down the side here. Gray. It's kind of nice to add a little bit of gray. It breaks up the black a lot. Okay, down through here maybe in front of the house. In front of the hill there. Let's add some gray. What do we think? Yes? Looking good? Okay, there's our little home. So what we need to do is let that white dry really good. Come back and paint some fun colors on top of it. Okay, so let's... Ooh, it's almost dry as it is. So maybe we can go ahead and do it. Bumpity bump as I bump ya. This is my Halloween witches back here. Woohoohoo! Aren't they fun? Okay. Actually, my mother painted those. They look really nice, don't they? I must give her credit. So... It's one of the ones on our Etsy shop. You can actually purchase a print of this witch's painting back here. So, if you're interested. Okay. You guys grab your same brush that you just had. Make sure it's rinsed out really well. We're going to paint a little bit of yellow down here at the bottom of our door. Okay, we just need a little yellow in this painting. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow. Then we're going to take it into some orange right here. A little section. I didn't rinse my brush. Oh, goodness. Did you see I picked up some nasty black on that? That is nasty. We're going to rinse that out right now. And I'm just going to take it and swipe it off with some water. That usually takes off your paint when it's still wet. So just kind of wash it off with some water. Dab it on your paper towel. Get rid of the mistakes, huh? to get rid of it and if you know what if it doesn't if it was dry and it wasn't coming off you could always let it dry completely paint white over top of it again and then just paint it with the color you want on top of that orange okay so there's a little bit of that mistake gone I like that better and we're gonna get some better orange there we go <laughs> and paint the orange just right on top of that yellow all the way up into your top there Kind of blend it into the yellow at the bottom. Okay. Continue to paint these windows orange. I'm going to paint Frankenstein in this castle because this is a mad scientist little house castle thing here. But I have painted this with people and they have put all kinds of cute little goblins in each window. So if you're into that and want to do lots of goblins, totally can do that. I put Frankie right here in the window, right here in the door, and all the other windows I just kind of leave blank, but it's up to you. You can add whatever you want over it, so it's kind of fun. This one was inspired by my husband, actually. He likes to um, create crazy contraptions and things. <laughs> yeah, he's He is a chemist. He went to school to do chemistry. There goes my black again. And um, he just likes to create things and he's like hooked things up to our house that are really strange and you know different but they work and they're pretty ingenious this last summer he made so i'm just adding red to this top of the store okay this last summer he made a hot water solar heat powered hot okay a solar hot water heater if that makes sense and i was like what are you doing and it's got this crazy contraptions all hooks to the house. But it actually is amazing. And it's he's got a hot water running through our floor. And I cannot complain. I actually really love it. So, I mean, as mad scientist as he is, it's, he's pretty genius, actually. So, I love him. Anyway, add a little bit to the top of your roof there. There's the top of your door. Then take a little bit of red and kind of take it into the corners of your windows as well. Just the corner of your windows. And it kind of gives it, or the edges of your windows, kind of gives it some dimension in there as well. So I'm going to kind of stroke some red right along the edge of the window. And how I do it is I just put red kind of on one side of my paintbrush and then paint with the whole paintbrush. And it kind of gives it a, I don't know, kind of a, fuzzy line. It's called floating is what it's called. Get your paintbrush and kind of just clean up your lines by painting right around your windows and down just to kind of clean up where you've kind of gone, gone over 
in your paint and it really looks it finished up and it makes it finish. And you can also add some panes and stuff in there. Okay. To your windows. I'm going to do one like this. That's a cute little window. And uh, I'm going to clean up the door a little bit. I've got some blue in my black here, which is fun. Okay, and then right up around the top window up here, same thing. Just gonna clean it up so it looks rounder. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way so you guys can see what I'm doing. That's a hard thing to do, keep my hand out of the way. There we go. Kind of cleaned up windows. This one, I think I'll put a big cross through the window here. Like this. On the top of this window, I'm going to just do a little thing that goes across. And a little bit of a, a window shutter up there. Or a window pane. Okay, that is your house pretty much finished. I'm going to show you how to create Frankenstein. It's just a series of shapes again. I'm going to start out with a long rectangle. Fill it in. Okay. Give them some little squares that come off that rectangle on each side. Then you're going to do an extra big square here. down. It's kind of still rectangular shape, but so now you got a square on top of a square, okay? Then you're going to do a little tiny rectangle here, and then a big rectangle here for a face and head, okay? Up at the top you want to give them some hair by just making these little bumpy things that go across, okay? And then you want to put these little tiny scoops that come off like this on the sides in little half circles. Okay, that is Frankenstein. And I'm going to show you where to put a little bit of highlights on them to make them come alive. Get some gray. You know, we're going to piece down the middle of his um, pants to give him some pants. Here's the bottom of his shirt. Here is a sleeve. You just kind of run it down. Another sleeve that comes down right there. This is his little hand, so give him a little bit of a sleeve bottom on that. See the little sleeve bottom? How that works. There's those sleeves and his hands. And then up here is his little chin. They make his little face come down. Kind of a square face. Give him a little gray on the bottom of his chin. And a little bit of gray in his hair. Like that. And then we need to give him, of course, his little bolts. Now you can give him bolts outside of his cheeks, on the side of his neck. But you got to get a really thin paintbrush line to do that. And I just kind of put a little line out there with a little bolt on it. Line out there with another little bolt. And there is your Frankie. People have put light, like eyes on him or whatever, but I think he's adorable. You can add more stuff to him however you want to do it. You like I said, you can go to my little page and see how this is a huge picture of a castle. And it's really fun. It's got all kinds of fun extra things in it, like little lightning bolts coming out of the clouds and stuff like this. Little um, towers and things that come off the house. That I mean, it's got clouds. It's got a really cool sky. It's got some really cool stuff. If there's something in there that you would really like to see me paint for you, um, here's the bottom of a cloud, we'll say. And if there's something that you'd really like me to show you how I did it, just leave me a comment and I can do that. But here's a simple, quick version of that painting. So have fun painting Frankie. Okay, finished our Frankie house and our little cute little Frankie Stein. His name cute? Frank E. Stein. Nice. Anyway, good looking fella, good looking painting. If you create something and you'd like to show me, please take a picture and put it below too. 
because I would love to see it. Love to see it. This is my Frankenstein voice. Anyway, Frankie looking finey.